Hi guys, welcome to another Essentials tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through the intray function in MYB Essentials. My name is Samuel Burmeister and I'm the owner here at Toll Books. So right now what you can see is the intray inside MYB Essentials. This feature is not unique to Essentials. The account right suite has it as well. It's really handy, probably one of the top features for online accounting in the software suite with MYOB. And the reasons are really obvious. Not only can you attach a supplier invoice or PDF to the bill, um, but it will pre-populate some of the data for you. And the more you've used bills from that supplier, generally the smarter it gets. So very handy, very quick and Unlike some of its competitors, which simply attach a document, this will pre-populate some of the data for you. Now, um, depending on the document and the details you have in the system, sometimes what it will pre-populate is very basic. However, sometimes it will actually fill in quite a bit. So for this example, you can see here, we have two documents in the in-tray. So basically the way it works is you can upload a document by clicking here on upload document and simply browsing and uploading a JPEG or PDF, for example. Um, that's one way. Another one is dragging and dropping. You can simply drag and drop a document in here um, and it will automatically start reading that document. So you can see over here, I've just dropped in this one here from Trendy Accounts. So the little OCR here, which is um, the opt optical character recognition software is reading that invoice. Once it's done, you'll see it here with a little exclamation mark just saying that it's ready to go. And you can either link it to an existing bill, once you've selected it over here, or create a new bill using that invoice itself. Very handy. The third option, which a lot of people like to use as well, is emailing. So you can email a specific address, the document attached from the owner email address linked to the file and it will automatically load the attachment into the in-tray. So very handy. That email address is bills at essentials.myab.com.au. That's bills at essentials.myab.com.au. Um, similar to the account right one, which is the same one, except it's bills at account right .au. So let's see it in action. This invoice here might not show a lot of data, but I'll show you the concept of it. So we'll select here this invoice and we're going to create a new bill from it. So what it does is it automatically sets up an invoice for me. It puts in the date of issue. Um, which is just selected for today, so it might not be correct. However, depending on how much it can read, all of the blue fields have been selected from the invoice itself. Everything in yellow here are the ones that you need to go in and fill in yourself. So very handy. You can view it as a pop-out window. You can download the document for your own storage. Um, what I like to use here is split view. So you can see what it allows you to do is view the invoice you're entering up the top and the actual supplier invoice down the bottom. So we're gonna select the supplier, which is Tritel Communications. You can put in their invoice number. This often automatically enters for you, which is great. Date of issue is the 7th of the 8th. Perfect, and it's due on the 20th of the 9th. Generous of them. And basically then you're good to enter in each of the individual lines. So it's as simple as that and you save the invoice. So once that's done, you have it stored in the system. So just for this example, I'm just going to enter in some basic data. So we've got 5950. Tax type, it's inclusive as they're not registered, so it's all good to go. 500 gigabyte biz connect internet service. Uh, 
And I'm not sure if they, yep, they've got an internet expense. Can't put in the amount and just close that preview, then you can save the invoice. Once that's saved, under your bills area, which is purchases up the top here, bills, you will be able to see that invoice here. And on the right hand side, you see the attachment. So when I go into that bill via the hyperlink, I can see my PDF there on the left hand side. So even if you're moving on to another business, another software package, upgrading, etc., and you need this data, you can easily come in here and hit the download option and extract the PDF or JPEG files from the software, which is really handy. Um, you can also unlink it. So if you click unlink, let's say you put it to the wrong one, and you go back to your in tray, voila, it's sitting here again. And you can delete it as well if you need to. So selecting the bill and hit delete. So there's the in tray function, very handy, very simple to use. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Uh, or send me through an email. Thanks for watching.